Hello my friends, welcome back to Hoogie Place and the Truckers Vlog on Euro Truck Simulator. Welcome back to the Ferry Island and to a place called Klagsvik where we unloaded here at DB Schenker in the last vlog. Today's vlog will be a little different. Uh, uh, I am trying to go to Iceland and um, well, I told you that in the last vlog, uh, but I have not found any good load out from um, from Clarksvik. So, um, oops, I better let him pass there. Uh, I have not find, found a good load out of here, but there is a load from um, a place outside Tusham, also that here on the ferry island. So I uh, will have to go there, empty, without any trailer, and uh, get that load. And then we will go to Iceland. So you will have to uh, follow me, empty, to uh, a metro store <laughs> in the middle of nowhere here on the ferry island. That is... Uh, that is what we have to do and uh, yeah since I want to do it as real as possible I have to uh, go there without any any uh, trailer but uh, if you don't mind I don't because it, it is very nice to drive here. Nice, uh, a nice map with uh, nice roads and uh, everything. Even if we are going back the same way that we came, but uh, that we would have to do anyhow. And here we are at the crossing where we. Um, filled up gas in the last vlog and where they crashed uh, a truck and uh, a bus if I don't recall wrong let's hope that I will not crash them so uh, I have been checking the map as I said and uh, this place that we are going to uh, falls under uh, Tursham, but uh, it's not in, in the city of Tursham. So, uh, and I'm not, actually I'm not sure we can see how far it is. It's uh, 111, 116 kilometers to go. But uh, after that we will just have to go to the ferry and uh, yeah, Let's see, we will have to go to the ferry, and um, after that, the ferry will take us to Iceland. But uh, on Iceland, then uh, it will not be that far to to drive. I have. I don't have the distances in my head, but I don't think that it will be, be that long, anyway. Oops. <laughs> As I said, it's not always easy to to drive and manage the camera at the same time. So I better stick to driving. This uh, this area looks like well something taken from uh, taken from a, a movie. Very nice surroundings. They could easily record a movie here if they don't already has. I know that they 
if I'm not wrong, they recorded uh, if it was Game of Thrones or if uh, something like that on Iceland, but Torsham uh, or the Fairy Islands is um, very much like Iceland. Yeah, here is the way to the ferry up, uh, as you see, uh, to the left there, that we will go straight. It said something on the on the sign there, but I didn't. Something with Sir. So, uh, but it doesn't matter. We will follow the the GPS, and then we will most surely find the way. And uh, in this vlog number 70, small anniversary vlog, uh, we will um, pick up fruit. I'm not sure what f sort of fruit they have here on uh, this island, but we will pick up fruit and deliver that on Iceland. Uh, but perhaps they can grow things here. It, it uh, looks uh, green at least. So. And this is actually the first time I think that I uh, record a movie like this when uh, going empty to get a load but uh, well it must be a first time for everything soon at our, de at our destination here. surroundings I hope that you can see even if it <laughs> comes with the cost of me driving like a maniac and actually a lot of traffic on these roads you can see on the GPS there that we are closing in on our destination now There it is. And uh, and here we are at the metro in uh, outside Tusham, where I will uh, load up the trailer waiting for us and uh, you can see it behind us here we have a wall in front of the trailer that we need to look out for but uh, I will try to squeeze in here if I can I will do my best it's actually more more space than what it looks like so I think that this will do good like this I think so let's just connect the trailer here it 
done and yes now we are ready for the main journey as you see we are out here we started up in Klogsvik and we are here and we will go back to Tursan and take the ferry over to Iceland and when we get to Iceland we will go this way from the ferry port down to this Reyjarfjordur and to Samskip where we will unload this um, this trailer so uh, 787 kilometers but I think that that is with uh, the ferry as well so not uh, not a driving distance but even if it was a driving distance well uh, then we had gladly taken it so let's go to uh, the ferry in uh, Tursha with this wonderful Vik Ørsta tra uh, trailer from uh, yeah I'm not sure but I think it's Norway actually no traffic from the right but from the left so uh, yeah let's just head it to the ferry I think it was uh, was an airport on our uh, right side Well, Bøstrand, it says on the back of the trailer, that must be Nor Norwegian then. I think Bøstrand is a Norwegian company, so... Uh, and I also think that bo both uh, Ferry Island and uh, Iceland have uh, cl cl close connections to Norway. You often uh, in school we learn that there are well we live in Scandinavia and we live in uh, the Nordic uh, states and uh, the Nordic states uh, is often uh, then you often speak about about Sweden, Denmark, Norway and Finland but I also think that Iceland and Ferry Islands uh, are um, included so let's not miss our way here because oh this is this is interesting. This um, <laughs> this roadwork wasn't here when we went by just a few minutes ago. At least I cannot remember it. So they work very fast here on the ferry islands. And that is good, of course. I don't sleep at work but 80 on this road is a little too fast I guess at least with the trailer and here comes the tunnel under the fjord at least and uh, it doesn't matter if I 
spend driving time here. I will uh, get my my rest on the ferry over to uh, Iceland because it's at least 24 hours over there. We are taking the right turn here. Yeah, at least 24 hours from here over to Iceland. At least if if you if you uh, do it in a realistic way. And we are heavy loaded. You can hear that on the engine because it is quite steep uphill here. A nice uh, engine sound. tour sound on the GPS there so it's not far now let's not just go too fast here there you see tour sound in front of us and you see the ferry waiting for us there you can also take the ferry from here to um, to the British Islands that is not the ferry that we are going to it's a small ferry on another part of uh, the city of Torsam but uh, yeah oops was close and uh, I know that I was the one guilty for that one but I wanted to go without stopping here we have to go around this um, this area ah okay you have a Danish flag there, which means that I guess that the ferry eyes, uh, the ferry islands, uh, has closer connections to Denmark. And we will go here on to the left. There comes a car. But it is a one-way street, so no worries for traffic from the left. Very nice city. I could not live in a place like this, but I would definitely like to go here sometime on vacation. See if we can find our way into the ferry here. Uh, must be here and then, yeah, like this. Looks good. the ferry waiting for us perfect and the time is four o'clock in the afternoon 1600 hours cut off the engine choose our destination and we are going to Seyus, Seyus Fjordur uh, on Iceland and you see it only takes us 15 hours but well I thought it was uh, 
at least 24, but okay, 15 is okay. So let's go to Iceland. And my friends, welcome to Iceland. And he is uh, waving for us to get off the ferry. So I think we better do as he says and leave the ferry now. So bye bye. Nice horn there. I guess that we are going straight here. Welcome to Iceland. And as you see, there, <laughs> just as the name says, Iceland, the eastern region, yes. Uh, a lot of snow here. And I can uh, reveal, if you haven't been here uh, in the game, the snow is uh, a part of the map. There are actually green areas as well, but even if you don't have any winter mod or anything like that, you uh, will get snow on Iceland. Uh, Iceland is a uh, very interesting volcano island with a lot of uh, active volcanoes. Can we go? I think we can. Thank you for that. They have uh, a few cities on this isle island. Uh, the capital is Reykjavik. And I cannot tell you how many people there are living there, but I guess that they are only 300 between three or four hundred thousand on the whole island so how many people there are there are living in uh, Reykjavik I don't know there are a few small towns or villages on, uh, on the island and, uh, as I said uh, in another vlog my goal is to go here uh, with my uh, motorcycle to uh, ooh. <laughs> actually it's very slippery that is an interesting feature because I don't have that feature in I have no mod making it slippery but it was slippery there so the truck went just straight ahead so uh, they must have made something in, in the map and uh, we are going very, very steep uphill. And as you see, a lot of snow here. Nice views. <laughs> but I was actually very surprised because I didn't expect it was, uh, uh, that it should be slippery. But it was. And uh, well, here you have Iceland. Reykjavik is a modern city, even if it's not that big. But, and yes, as I said, I will go here on vacation with my motorbike. Hopefully, uh, this year in uh, July for three weeks. Then I will see it. it, it uh, snow smokes from uh, the truck there and uh, yeah when going here I will take a ferry from Hirchals in Denmark that it 
takes two days and that uh, that ferry goes uh, the way that we came now via uh, Torsham it's uh, going to be very interesting here it's a little tight here so you better be careful and go slow of you plays this game and uh, have never been to Iceland please go it's a very nice place to visit and to drive at and here you have the road to oops there was a road sign there but I didn't get any fine for it so that was good. I hope that no one saw that. Here you can fill up, fill up your uh, truck if you need to. But I did it on uh, the Fairy Islands, so uh, I don't feel that there is a need for that. an 80 road and well it feels more as an 80 road than the one that they had on the ferry island even if it's <laughs> a little uh, risky because it might be slippery as it was on our way uphill over the mountain I don't know yeah we can see our destination there on the GPS Coming up, we have 10 kilometers to go, so we are very soon at our destination now. And the time is 5 past 9 in the morning. And let's do it like this on the map so that we don't miss any. any I hope that I will not crash into that car. No, nope, that's good. And uh, further ahead, here we will go left again. Have the receiving company up here. Somewhere. So this is uh, a very interesting town. And you can see they have a workshop here for the car, for the truck, if you need to. And I really hope that I and you have. Uh, Ah, look! Nice view. Yes, I know that I have traffic behind me, but I have to go into this company here. And I'll load on the back side of the building. parking spot um, let's hope that I can find a load out of here further up on ice island Iceland not island Iceland and, uh, let's see if we can do it like this perhaps See, very close, but 
this should be good. <laughs> I, okay, I'm not finished yet, but it looks like I'm a pro here. I will not say anything until I get the green light. And uh, please give me a green light here. Perfect. Like that. And uh, it's a very nice trailer, this one. It's from Busbyg, also a Norwegian company. And you see it's a Norwegian, uh, um, a Norwegian license plate. So, uh, yeah. That speaks, uh, that promises quality. Busbyg, very nice trailers. And we are on uh, our first uh, stop here on Iceland, my friends. Many, many, many thanks for coming with me on this journey. Thank you for uh, your patience. I hope that you have enjoyed the ride, even if it was quite long, and even if we had to go and get this trailer before we could haul it here to Iceland. I hope that you will come with me on the next journey as well. And um, I hope that we will find a good load further up on, I on Iceland. Not that much money though. <laughs> okay. So please like, subscribe and comment. And um, until the next time, take care everyone. See you. Bye bye.